Okay, so welcome back to a second video about the YQL views query backend module uh, for Drupal 7, the Drupal 7 port, which you can find at this node. You'll find some links over at YouTube to, to these pages. This Drupal 7 port is what makes me excited right now because YQL views query backend is an awesome module. It allows you to pull in an extraordinary, extraordinary amount of data into views. So you can query stuff all over the web like Twitter and Flickr and Facebook and Google and whatnot. Uh, over at the YQL uh, console you can find a lot of different tables to, uh, to uh, check out. I think there is more than, well, yeah, more than 1200 different tables which you can just yeah, dig around in and find good stuff. Uh, so in the last video uh, I created this block here that shows you uh, recent tweets containing hashtag group. Uh, I'm gonna uh, build on this now to, to create a little bit more cool thing and uh, let's see, here's the view, yeah. I'm gonna create a page here. And I'll probably uh, create some, uh, well, break this block while doing this, but we'll see. Okay, I still have the same query setting, so I'm querying the, uh, the Twitter search table through YQL. I'm gonna give this a path here, let's call it tweets or something. Tweets, that's good. And uh, let's give this a menu item as well. Uh, normal menu entry in tweets. Let's put that in the in the main menu so we can find it easily. Apply. And and now I'm gonna add a contextual filter here uh, for a YQL column, and I'm gonna only do this for this page, so I won't destroy the um, so I won't destroy the uh, block I'm making. If I don't have any argument coming in, uh, contextual filter value, I'm gonna just use pound Drupal here instead, that's good. And I'm gonna overwrite the title, I'm gonna call this tweets for percent one, where percent one is the first contextual filter value. Let's call, I'll use the field name Q because I'm gonna do this just as I did with the filter in the last video, I'm using this as the query. Over here we can see the select fields from this table where Q equals earthquake in this example query and I'm gonna make Q equal some, something else in my view here. So Q equals something. Let's call this a search string or something. Apply for this page only. Good. Let's also for this page only remove this filter for this page only remove apply this display I'm not 100% sure this works but let's hope so okay so so far so good now it, it kick this contextual filter kicks in and we get results here tweets yada 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 nice and uh, let's change the format into a table for this display only very nice apply I'm gonna actually change the query now and pull in like five, 25 results instead of only five. I'm not gonna use a pager on this one. I think. Well, maybe we. No, not a pager. I don't think pagers works uh, very well with this. Uh, so let's yeah, let's display the specified number of items. Let's change that from five to 25 on this page only. Dun, dun, dun. We have the tweet already. Now I'm gonna add a few more things. So far I'm, I'm only doing standard stuff, changing standard view stuff. Uh, now here comes the YQL stuff, adding a new field. Let's have a look here at the YQL console. What kind of data can we pick from, from the searches we have in, in Twitter, at Twitter? We have from user that can be uh, kind of interesting we have the user ID here a user something name and the user uh, chosen name or something let's use the internal Twitter name but from underscore user uh, so let's query for this a YQL column and Let's not use a label on this one. Let's uh, query for from user. 
I'm going to call this from user as well. This should give us. Yep. So the the people, the person tweeting and the tweet. That's good. I'm going to try to fetch the uh, profile image as well. I think this will be fetched as formatted crap uh, into views, and I'll have to rework it. Let's see if that's still the case. Let's fetch profile image URL, no label on this one. Let's call it, let's call it profile image URL here as well. Apply. Oh crap, now I'm applying to all uh, displays. It has happened. Okay, so yeah, this is fetched as a link, which kind of sucks. It has eight tags and everything around it. So let's open this one up again. Let's actually now override the fields. Uh, rewrite the results, uh, strip all HTML tags, and I'm also going to exclude from display, apply. Okay, so now I'm fetching this, uh, excluded from display, now I can, uh, let's try add a global custom text. Uh, and I'm going to do this image source equals placement patterns column 2 and this is the profile image URL stripped from all the HTML tags and like that this should bloody well work okay so let's uh, reorder this these a bit Let's put the actual tweet at the bottom. Let's put the from user here. This global custom text should probably have a different name. Let's change that. Because global custom text doesn't tell you very much. So this should be a formatted image or something. And let's change this from user. Uh, rewrite that as well. And we write the output of this field. Let's use a replacement pattern, the from user. From user says colon. Cool. Okay, so reconnect uh, job Rob says. Let's actually tweak this table a bit as well. I put that uh, from user in the tweet column there. Apply. Reconnect Rob says, okay, so we have a line break here. That's not very pretty. So let's remove this says thing. Let's not rewrite this result. Apply. We could strip the tags here as well. That's pro it's probably wrapped in a P tag or something silly like that when it comes from, from Twitter. Okay, so here it is. Uh, now look at this. Look at this. Uh, if we go to the front page reload, uh, we have now this tweets tab. This is a view. Tweets, tweets for Drupal. If we don't add any uh, contextual filter, it will search for Drupal. But if we search for, say, YQL instead, it will search for but YQL. I'm not sure if we could use a hash or a pound here. Uh, no, we can't. So we'll probably need to URL encode that. But still, that's kind of cool. YQL and Drupal. Let's try this one. I don't know what the... Uh, uh, no, so this is, this is bad. Uh, let's try just a space. Now, I don't know the syntax that uh, Twitter uses when you want to combine different stuff. Let's try a plus. No, okay, let, let, let's not. And um, awesomeness. Let's search for awesomeness instead. When, when it's the first time uh, 
uh, Twitter does, well, YQL does a search, it takes some time, then it's cached and the re response is quicker. But you will have a performance hit when you uh, run the query through YQL and then through Twitter. That's, that's kind of unavoidable. But still, this is a pretty cool thing you can do with views uh, and YQL, the Yahoo Query backend uh, in combination. Uh, I just think this rocks very much. Uh, and this is just one example of things you can do with uh, when you combine YQL and views in Drupal together. So I hope you find this uh, fun. Let's actually try and URL encode. URL encoder. And there is some kind of online tool for this. Uh, this is a good one. Let's try and search for YQL plus Drupal. No, space Drupal. Let's go. Okay, so let's take this one and see if we can search for that. Please. Please. No. Okay, so something breaks here. That's kind of sad. Let's see if it works better if I just remove the space and stuff. Yeah, okay, so that works. That's good. And, and that means we should have a percent 20 and a percent 23 and Drupal. That should work. Why didn't this one encode my space? It did. Okay, so now it will break again. I'm going to try the plus one because I'm really interested in how I can combine these two. You can stop watching now. I'm, I don't have anything more interesting to say. I just want to make this work. Please. Which one? No. Okay. Screw it. Uh, let's be satisfied with the uh, YQL tweets. And I should be here somewhere, I hope. No, there are so many tweets going around for, for uh, YQL. I'm already pushed down the list. Um, cool. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, as previously, if you try out this uh, YQL thing for Drupal 7, please uh, write a review in, in this issue here. Um, there is a link in, in the YouTube uh, video and things. Um, yeah, have fun. See you around. Goodbye.